today on one side of the Super Maxi in Las Americas in Cuenca, Ecuador. We're going to go into the bathroom, get some water samples to test the Steripen and also to test the water quality in the city of Cuenca. So we're going to take some water from the tap and we're going to test it with Steripen and see what the change is. First of all, we'll do a water test to see what the quality is and then secondly, uh, how it improves with use of the Steripen ultraviolet light. Let's get started. Okay, so to test the Steripen ultraviolet light filter, we're going to uh, take a water test from the Tomibamba River here in Cuenca, Ecuador. So we're just going to come down and get a, a, sh a little sample of water and of course not expecting it to be of good quality. We're going to see what it's, the quality of the water is like and then we'll see how, uh, how well the Steripen does at making it potable. Okay, so we have the two water samples and we're here at the laboratory. Uh, that my friend owns and we're going to do a water test of the water that came out of the tap and also the water that came out of the Tomibamba River. So we're here now and you can see just preparing the sample uh, in the test tube just taking out a, a, a little bit and that's from the, the Tomibamba River and then the other sample here is what we took out of the tap at the uh, at the Supermaxi in, in Cuenca. And then after we test it we see what the water quality is we're going to use the Steripen Ultra to give it a test to, to see if we can then purify the water to make it drinkable and safe. So let's see how it goes. Es como es como que le vamos a a precipitar todas las bacterias que van a ir al fondo del tubo. En realidad no. No hay... Además, eh, bueno, al, en realidad, pues en, en, ya estando adentro, prácticamente es, si están con vida, van a consumir eh, los nutrientes. Ah, ya. Yeah. Es cierto. Van a... Estamos bien, ¿no? Sí. Ese, 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 ese. Es, bueno, eh, el, hay unas más dañinas que otras. Ese redondito. Y de... So we just did the test on the water tap and on the water from the river and the water on tap from Cuenca came out okay with just tiny bits of bacteria but nothing nothing to worry about. The river water was full of everything. Um, the, uh, my friend said it looked like a zoo, a zoo full of different species of, uh, of amoebas and eggs of different, uh, different critters and bacteria. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the, um, the Steripen Ultra and we're gonna, gonna give it a go on the, the river water. We're not gonna do it on the other one because it, it really is, is fine as is. So we're gonna set this here to a uh, half liter setting. You can see by clicking twice, it's two liters. And then it will turn on just by making contact with the water. So you can see it's on and it's counting down um, from uh, 45 seconds. And you can see the light on. Si se ve, está solo, es muy simple, ¿no? Sí, sí. Entonces. Está trabajando ahorita ya. Sí. Mm -hmm. So did it work? Ay, did the Steripen did. UV light accomplish what it was supposed to do and make the water safe to drink? We started off with the with the water from the river being just full of life, of bacteria, amoebas, and parasite eggs. You can see on the slide here uh, is a live amoeba. This is what we started with when we did the original examination under the microscope. And now on this slide you can see the same amoeba, but it is dead. The UV light killed the amoeba, uh, making the water safe to drink. The, uh, the important part, the, 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 the critical part here, is that the Steripen has to be used correctly. So if you go to the full post on Gringos Abroad, you can see the description the, exactly how the Steripen needs to work. It needs to be used so that it will work and actually make the water safe. If not, it really would be the same as just drinking river water. So we need to make sure that the pen is used properly to keep 
uh, to keep us healthy so we don't get sick with parasites and amoebas.